Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. I'm Crystal Carlett and I help women with their faith, their health, and their overall well-being. If this is your first time here, I say welcome to the family like always. And if you are returning, I say, sis, get on in here. Where have you been? <laughs> While you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. Let's get down to business. So today I have a prophetic word for you guys entitled, it may not be done with you, but you are done with it. So this prophetic word is for those that are dealing with some type of addictive behavior, some type of relationship, some type of sickness that continues to keep trying to come back and you continuously have to try to fight off. So what the Lord is saying to you is that, listen, it may not be done with you, but you are done with it. And what that means is that the fact that you are done with it, it has diminished this enemy of its power. This takes me back to the story of Moses and Pharaoh. It's a prime example, right? Moses was done, but Pharaoh wasn't done with Moses. But that didn't stop Moses. Really? I'm just, I'm just, they're trying to interrupt the anointing and it's not going to work. That didn't stop Moses because Moses continued to press on toward the Red Sea because he knew that God would swallow up his enemies once he got there. So this enemy that you're fighting off, this enemy that continues to rear its ugly head, every time you feel like you've gotten ahead of it, here it comes trying to pull you back down into that darkness. Here it comes trying to pull you back to where you once was. And I got news for you today is that just because it may not be done with you, know that it has no power because you are done with it. God is putting a stop to it. Not only that, the enemies that you see today, you will see them no more. This is what the Lord is saying. So stand firm in that. At the fact that, hey, this may not be done with me, but I am done with it. When you make that decision, you cut off its power source, which is your agreement. And just like Moses, when you get to your Red Sea and you're ready to cross to the other side, don't even be considered with the enemies that you have left behind because God will take care of those enemies. And again, it's some, it's, it's some type of an addiction, it's some type of a bad relationship, or it's some type of a sickness or a disease. Um, that is trying to take you out and to reduce you to dust. But I got good news that the devil is a liar and God shall prevail and you will have the victory over this thing. As a matter of fact, you already have the victory over it, but the enemy, he's always trying to come back, right? He's always trying to get bring us back into the remembrance of who we once was, what we once struggled with and what we once dealt with. But you have the victory now. This is your green light. You have a green light from the Lord that is saying, listen, make that decision, understand that it may not be done with you. That may be a true fact, but you are done with it. That's all you need to know. That is, that's all you need. So another part is this thing, uh, whatever this enemy is that's trying to chase you down, it from time to time, it makes you anxious. It makes you nervous. You don't trust yourself as much. You're not you're not able to rest because you think that it's going to happen again or that it's going to come back or you're going to get back into that same behavior. The devil is a liar. You're done with it. I'm going to just sit there for a second because you're done. I'm. You're finished. You're finished with it. God has put a stop to it. Not only that, everything has an expiration date and this has reached its expiration date in your life. It no longer serves you. It no longer serves a purpose. So I want to encourage you to rest, start trusting yourself again, start enjoying, don't be anxious, don't be nervous thinking that it's going to resurface because just because it is not done with you doesn't mean you're not done with it. Amen. So go in peace. I pray that you guys got something out of this video. As always, pray to the Lord and test the word because the prophetic word that is released over the body of Christ is released in certain seasons. So you want to make sure that this does come in line with you. And you will know, like I say always, because it will strike your spirit and you will know that was for me. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more free inspirational topics and videos and health video, all things health and wellness. I love you guys and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.